are on the way to the airport to spend 48 hours in Amsterdam, a little mini city break over the weekend, so come along for the ride. We've checked into our hotel. We are staying at the Citizen M right by the airport. So it's about four minutes away, really easy to get to. I'm gonna do you a tour because this room is so cool. <laughs> so you come in here and there's a little safe there where you can put your passport and your money in. Places to hang your clothes. Citizen M is all about space saving design. So look how cool this room is and everything that we've got in it in such a small space. So your toilet is here right in the middle of the room <laughs> but you can close the door so you've got a little bit of privacy which is good and then this is the shower it's like a little space age pod and i'm really excited to give that a go in the morning got our products there everything you need and I again that closes up so it's all nice and dry for everybody else in the room mirror to get ready here really big mirror actually that's quite good and a little hair dryer sink and the bed and the great thing about citizen M hotels is that everything is controlled by an ipad so you can change the lights in the room turn them up put some mood lights on change the color of them there's like preset mood so you can pop it into relax mood which changes all the lights to green and puts on some calming music on the telly it also does all of your blinds as well so we can close the curtains you can even control the temperature from here so if you want it a bit cooler and all of your media and your TV you can control from here and then the TV's at the end of the bed so you can lie in bed and watch it. So we're gonna head out into the city now, hop on the train, apparently it's about 20 minutes away from here and go and explore really and tonight we are off to see Cirque du Soleil and I am so excited it's their Abaluna tour and it's here in Amsterdam so we thought why are we here why not book tickets and head over to the big top so I'm going to bring you with me and give you a taste of Amsterdam as we spend 48 hours in the city and morning in Amsterdam so far. We've just been having a walk around, looking through the streets, walking up and down, had some lunch, had a few beers, and now we're on the way to see Cirque du Soleil. We've literally just seen uh, the big top, which is really exciting. I can't wait, are you excited? Yeah, man, definitely, very excited. <laughs> really excited. <laughs> I'm far too awesome. tall. That was so, so good. We've seen three of Cirque du Soleil now. We've seen Kuza at the Royal Albert Hall. We saw um, Hoya in their residency in Mexico. And now we've seen Amaluna and it was really, really good. It was just incredible. Some of the stuff that they were doing, I was literally like that the whole way through. <laughs> it's so good. But now we're going to head back into the city centre. We're going to try and find Pancake Bakery, which we found earlier, but there was a massive <laughs> queue. And Joe is determined that he knows the way without a map. <clears throat> I've got a nose. I did actually say I think I know the general direction. Oh, okay. You're backtracking already. No, no. We're yeah. going to get lost. Museum is still ridiculously long and I don't think we're gonna get in before it closes but Joe has actually made it to the Pancake Bakery without the use of his GPRS. Oh yeah. Well done you, you deserve a pancake. You yeah, can have a pancake. Yeah, done right I
our room after such a long day in Amsterdam, but it's been amazing. We didn't get a chance to go to the Anne Frank Museum because the queue was ridiculous and they stopped letting people in because it was so busy. So that's a top tip for you. If you're coming to Amsterdam, make sure you book your tickets online way in advance. They were completely sold out for us uh, during the whole of April. So we just had to chance it on the door, which we didn't make it to, but that was okay because we had a walk around the red light district, which was an eye opener to say the least. Uh, and I think we're gonna try and go to the Heineken Museum tomorrow. We had our pancakes, they were well worth the wait. They were amazing. Definitely check out the Pancake Bakery. I'll leave all the links to everything that we've done down below. Uh, but for now, it's time to roll the blinds and get some seriously needed sleep. Ready for another day exploring tomorrow. Good morning everybody and welcome to day two in Amsterdam. So we just had our breakfast in the hotel which was really nice. Very, very tasty, big croissants, lots of coffee and we're ready to go. So we're gonna aim to go into the city centre and find the Heineken Museum. Yes. Yeah. yeah! And drink some beer. And then our flight is about seven, nine o'clock tonight. So we've pretty much just got the afternoon in the city and then we've got to go home. It's a whistle stop tour. But the weather's lovely even though it's a bit cold. I'm just in a really good mood. So let's see what the Heineken Museum has to offer. Hopefully beer. Street waffles are life. I want to buy all of these. 